my name is Julia Blake and I run Blake Consultants and we help micro, small and medium sized businesses unlock their growth potential. This is the fourth video in a series of four in which we're looking at what I call the holy grail of systems for micro, small and medium sized businesses and they are Capsule CRM, MailChimp and Xero. And when they all work together, they really do underpin your business and the benefits are absolutely huge. In the first video, we gave an overview of Capsule CRM and how it can help you and how it can integrate with MailChimp and Xero. And I showed you how you could set up the Capsule CRM for your own business. In the second video, we had a look at how we can um, make the most of what you've got in your system. And in the third video, we looked at Pipeline. So in this video, we're gonna have a look at cases. Now cases can be used to manage what you deliver to your clients. They can also be used to manage any events that you've got coming up. And there's some brilliant functionality in tracks that I'm gonna show you. And it's just absolutely amazing what this, how this can really save you time and make you more efficient. So without further ado, let's dip into the system and have a look and see how we can do that. So cases in Capsule is where you can manage your clients deliverable work you can also manage your own internal projects actually so um, there's lots that can be done with capsule uh, cases and it's this is going to be a, um, a top level look at them and i'll also show you how to set up some tracks in cases so let's take a better look if you don't already have a capsule account then click on the link in the comments below to sign up I'm very proud to be a Capsule affiliate, so please do use the link. And it's really, really key to say here and now, if you don't know who your ideal client is, or you don't have an ideal client avatar, if you can't dice and slice the data in a way that you need to, and you won't know how you need to dice and slice the data unless you know who your ideal client is. Let's have a look sort of behind the scenes and just put this into context. There are three main areas of Capsule, the data bank, the opportunities and cases. Data bank is where we, um, is the central storage place and we do our marketing from there. Opportunities is where we can manage our pipeline and keep on top of our sales. And cases is where we can deliver um, our, um, manage our deliverables. So the idea is to move people, contacts through marketing into pipeline and then into becoming a client and then go all the way back around and we're supported by Xero. So I think of Capsule, Xero and MailChimp as being the holy grail of systems for micro, small and medium sized businesses. Xero supports um, all of that as does MailChimp. So let's have a think about where cases fit in. Now we've got the data bank part and this is where we have the organizations and we have custom fields that relate to those organizations. And we have tags and data tags that relate to those organizations and custom fields that hang off of data tags. And we have people that hang off of organizations or they, can, um, they don't have to. So they also have custom fields and they have tags that can relate to them. They can be different or the same as organization. And we have data tags that custom fields hang off. We also have that same setup in opportunities Custom fields relate to opportunities, tags relate to opportunities, data tags relate to opportunities, and custom fields relate to the tags, which relate to the opportunities. And that's the same with cases. So when we're thinking about setting up cases, it's important to have this in context and to think about the fact that we might have some tags that relate specifically to a case. We might have some custom fields that relate specifically to a case. And we may have some data tags, and some custom fields that relate to those data tags specifically for a case. Okay, so let's have a look at Capsule and have a look at some cases. So we've gone into the demonstration version of Capsule that I've set up, and here we are at the dashboard, and we go over to cases. So we're looking at cases, and we can see that we've got two open cases. Now, if we just pop back to the Snowdrop organization, that's the name of the organization obviously, then we can see um, we can see here that we have in the overview two opportunities and one case. So we could get to that case by clicking there and going through to the test from there. So there's various ways to get to the case. Okay, so here we have a test 
case. So the case is called TEST. It's for the Snowdrop organization. It's assigned to me. If you've got different users in your organization, then perhaps you have different client directors for different um, organizations, then you can have cases assigned to different people. We could add a tag and we could have product A delivery, for example. Perhaps you deliver product A in a different way that you deliver product C. And you want to make sure that the client has a different experience. Then what we have here is linked opportunity details. So if you watched my video three, we, we had a look to see how we create an opportunity and then we can add a linked case. And what we can do there is actually um, copy a lot of information across from the opportunity to the case to, to really save time. What we can also do here is add contacts. So cases can be used to manage and deliver services, but they can also be used to manage events. So you might like to add a list of people who have, have been invited to an event at this point so that you can communicate with that list of people in the same way, send invitations out, send, um, you know, you could actually use um, this case to manage that event. Perhaps you wanted to check for dietary requirements of the people that were attending, then you could use the case to do that. Okay, so you might want to add a list of people who were coming to the event. Okay, so the case status is open, but you can close the cases. And then what we have here is the ability to upload any files that relate to that case. And we have the ability to use tracks. Now, if you uh, joined me for video number three, which is all about pipeline, then you'll recall that we used tracks to encourage people down a certain path to encourage that lead to convert into a sale. And we can do the same with cases. We can um, use tracks to encourage um, ourselves to be to offer a consistent level of service and to remind us to do things in a, in a series of events that um, we might otherwise actually drop the ball on. So tracks are brilliant. You can have more than one track on a case as well. So this track is to actually um, organize a gala dinner, but we um, could have um, any type of track here to um, deliver a service that we um, offer or to manage an event that we're running. We could also um, have it for uh, an internal project, perhaps we run a workshop on a regular basis or um, even send out a newsletter. We can use it for anything. So we can also add ad hoc tasks. And as we saw in the pipeline video, we can change the date of the actions within the tracks as well. Okay, so we can also add some information that might be particularly useful for um, cases. So we can use custom fields to do that. So we can do, we can add some custom fields and add some tags and manage our tracks by going to account settings. And then we pop over and we can go to tracks and we go to cases and then we can add a new track or we can go to custom fields and add some new custom fields for cases. So here we have product A, B, C, so we've got a number there, date the project started, when the um, project is can be completed, who the key contact is, that type of thing. And we can have some tags as well, and we can add tags and data tags to cases. Okay, so lots of scope there to really make it um, very um, bespoke for, for your own business. So we pop back to cases, this top level view, we can actually um, think about creating some bespoke lists. So we could uh, create a list um, by owner, by name, by status, when it was opened, when it was closed, when it was updated, what tags it has, and we can create some bespoke lists based on the custom fields that we've created there. So there's all sorts of things that we can do with cases. Um, and we can um, have the same functionality that we have in other areas of capsule, which is um, adding a blanket tar, a tag to everybody, perhaps in that list. So there's all sorts of things that um, that we can do in cases, and I hope that um, this has given you some ideas as to how you could use cases in your own business to manage your deliverables. But if you would like any um, help or assistance, then do give me a call. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Um, 
as or send me an email and do subscribe to receive my growth hack bulletin i send out lots of useful tips on capsule and on other areas of business growth and uh here's the link to my ideal client avatar ebook and do arrange your time to have a chat if you'd like to but thank you for joining me today and i hope that was a useful introduction to capsule crm cases